For the first time since 1991, the Pittsburgh Steelers have drafted a pass rusher in the first round. Huey Richardson didn't work out. The Steelers are hoping Jarvis Jones helps out a lot more than Huey did. Well, one thing I do like about it, and we talked about Jarvis Jones a lot yesterday, and that he comes with some negatives, Ken, is the fact that he is what he is. That so many other guys at this position they've taken, they were tweeners, or they played defensive end in college, and they were going to have to adjust to a 3-4 defense, things like that. Which Huey Richardson did. Which Huey Richardson did. And this, and you know, Mike Tomlin and Ken, Kevin Colbert both last night emphasized, we're going to ask him to do the same things that he did in college. I mean, this was a very easy evaluation. So I, I really like that part of it. Well, if you trust Kevin Colbert's first round success record, you're going to love what he had to say about Jarvis Jones and the fact that he was so thrilled. He called him what uh, one of their top six players, one of the elite guys they felt was in the draft that slid yep. to them because of either the medical or the 40 time, which was a 4-9-40 at his uh, pro day workout. That scares a lot of scouts, you know, that he has the speed to get around the edge in college, but it won't translate to the pros. But obviously, Kevin Colbert and Mike Tomlin don't feel that way. Well, a guy like Gil Brandt, who's been a friend of the show here and back in our ESPN days, and longtime successful Dallas Cowboy personnel guy says that difference in time is the difference between just missing the quarterback and getting him in pro football. So I think it's a little bit of a concern. Uh, Gavin and Mike made light of it and said, hey, when we saw that time, we loved it because we thought now maybe you know, we were going to go mess with the stopwatch, you know, because now it didn't bother us, but we knew it would bother some other teams. I think it's probably a combination of that and the medical thing. See, the medical thing seems to be in the distant past, though. There hasn't been, you kind of wonder what the Southern Cal doctors goofy or, or you know, it's because of the Steeler doctors, uh, the doctors of Georgia, the people at the Combine that examined them medically can't find anything wrong. That, that doesn't seem to be. As, but there is that issue. There is the slow running time. There is the reputation of not being a great workout guy. But in the end, Ken, I would much rather take a guy who looks like a football player that has those issues than a guy who bench presses a Buick, uh, you know, runs a 4-1-40 yeah. and, and then can't play. So, Well, that's why it'll be fascinating. The Browns took Barkevius Mingo from LSU, also a big-time school in the SEC, but he only had four and a half sacks, yet his measurables were much more impressive. Uh, they're almost the same body type, but one guy looks more sculpted and looks more the part than Jarvis Jones does uh, of the Steelers. But uh, obviously they feel like, as you say, he's going to fit in where Mingo was a d down defensive end. This guy played 3-4 outside backer. And, you know, one thing, who else was there? You know, the, Vicaro, Vicaro went. went. That's, the guy that, that's the guy that I really had hoped they'd take. He just seemed like, he, he seemed perfect to me for what he could do right now and for what he could mean for them for the future and for, uh, there weren't hardly any negatives in his scouting report. But but you also have to factor in, too, that uh, they maybe took a second-round pick, Jason Worlds. I wouldn't call him a bust, but would you have needed to draft a pass rusher if Worlds was a hit a couple of years ago in round two? He's the guy that I thought of the most when they actually made the pick, Ken. You know, mm -hmm. what does, what's he sitting at home thinking about right now? Uh, we talked a lot about Tyler Eifert. We've, we've been talking about him since January. But I, in, in the end, I'm kind of glad they didn't take him because I think that's a guy that uh, – they might really need until Heath Miller's healthy, but then it's just a it, it's 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 a skylight in a cathedral ceiling in a house Ooh. in a house in which the, you know the deck isn't finished off the back. Yeah, get to the quarterback foundation parts of the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Replenish James Harrison. Maybe a second tight end's a little bit too, as you say, pretty or fancy, and they're right. not ready to go. Patriots, two tight ends, and all the rest. Now, not that Eifert's not going to be a good player. I think he will be. It's but a cherry on top of the Sunday, but the ice cream has freezer burn. Rounds two and three. We'll see if they fill I some of those skill positions. <laughs> Got Junker Ken Laird. It's Trib Live Radio.